So we're here for another episode of The Throw Show, and we're fortunate enough to have Eric Johnson and Jason Harrow, who got fourth at the Olympic trials in 2016 in the discus, representing Arate Throws Nation. J Throws Nation, Jason and Eric, thanks for being here. We are we are happy to be here, Dane. <laughs> I just I want I want to start off with outside of the YouTube channel, which already pisses me off uh, that you do so much because better, he's than, better we do. than us. Yeah. <laughs> Solely for that reason. I don't care about how good the content is. I know it's good. Let's face it, it's gold. Let's yeah. <laughs> your, your gear is always the best. Jason's shirt is so nice. Your shirt hat matches. And then on top of that, you give my throwers free stuff. <laughs> and then they come out and they're wearing your shit during their training with me. <laughs> and it's like, yo, like, come on. <laughs> So I just wanted to put that out there that I'm already yeah. mad. By the way, but, I've I've yet, never received a garage strength shirt. By the way, just let me make that no. I'm too cheap to ship it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I want to go into that question, that first question though that we had. Okay, I thought I'd throw you a ringer right off the bat. Yeah, no, I, I like that a lot because I I think I've got to answer that a couple different ways. Wait, what's the question? The question yeah. is, um, Dane, why don't you teach a left arm block at the finish? Okay, so why don't I teach a left arm block at the finish? And I think I think to start, um, I hate the word block because what I feel like the way the, that that the left side in my mind should be working is that um, I I know and, and let me go through this. I think of it more um, almost like a trebuchet on a on a on a catapult. Okay, so. <clears throat> in my mind the left side is is creating energy and it's helping you transfer that energy forward and when i hear the term block i think about something stopping that energy which i do under, I, it is going to happen to a to an extent but i i don't want i i look at it as like all energy stops whereas if it's a trebuchet i like to think about the left arm opening and i prefer that that left arm is wider um similar to harding similar to canner um and i do teach that and i would actually argue i mean trevor might argue this that i tend to over teach it and i i'll say that um uh i like to use it where where, where it's a guide so that when the right gets to the middle and the left's moving around that right side the left arm holds for a split second Similar to Harding, and I'm I'm talking specifically about the discus right here. Right, and that that will hold for a brief moment, and then just prior to the left grounding, the left arm will open wide, and that's where I believe it acts more. And I, as as the traction arm on a on a trebuchet, so that's actually to me the better term is that I believe it's the traction arm, and I know that that's just not as catchy. And it's not as um, – it's never going to catch on in the throwing world, but I believe that a traction arm is the best description of the left side as opposed to the block. So when people say you don't teach the block, well, I would say I, I don't use that term. And, I, and, I, and you know, I've done uh, close to 3,000 um, technical analysis if you look, look at the YouTube or on Instagram, and I've – doubt I've ever used the term block and I think that that also just stems back to um Dr. B's influence on me but but mainly I don't I do not like that term but mm -hmm. I, I think when I watch some of your stuff Eric I understand what you're saying I'm not saying you're wrong I'm just saying I, I don't like that terminology and 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 Trevor and I have talked about this before and I've even met I've met with my brother who's an engineering uh mechanic slash aerospace engineer slash um, you know, he's got it also has a degree in physics and he doesn't like that term either. And he thinks of it more as like almost a piston or a traction arm on a, on a catapult. So, right. um, or a, tre a trebuchet. So I think that that's, that would be my, uh, yeah. In the beginning, I, I actually, I, I didn't use the right verbiage even in the beginning. I say traction arm of a trebuchet. So that traction on a, on a trebuchet, traction arm on a trebuchet is what makes that more uh precise as a weapon versus a catapult that doesn't have the traction arm okay so, i don't know if that is too it was i clear at all yeah i mean and i think like 
also, I feel like in the people I've come in contact with is they'll use the term block and be referring <laughs> to the exact same thing that I'm talking about. And I'm just not using the term, but there, and there's kind of two schools there. So there's kind of that, that group that use the term block and mean the same thing I do when I talk about the, the dynamic action of the left arm. But then there's also a group of people that I feel like do actually <laughs> attempt to completely stop the left side kind mm -hmm. of like that catapult and that's where I think and I think that's where the term block probably stems from and that's that's where I would say is is incorrect I, I and if I could just I want to keep going on this I, I, okay. I, I feel like I know what I, I know your side fairly well and I think I think the problem I have is with without that the the elecna left arm uh, the 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 downfall I think is something like that is that I don't like it, dude, I think Elect is probably one of the best technical models. He'd probably be top three technical model that I would use. Um, okay. Harding, Harding, him, Canner, some things that Canner does I, I really, really like. Um, but I don't like what Elect's left arm does in the middle. I don't like it. Uh, but I think that – and I'm not going to use the term where, oh, he can get away with it. No, he just grew up, and that's that was specific to his movement. That was the and, pattern he learned. And that was the pattern he was comfortable with, and that was the pattern he was most consistent with. And I think that a lot of times consistency is more important than 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 technical theory. And so that's, you know, yeah. Jason tends yeah. to throw with that with his left it's more similar to Alekna, and I don't, you know, I'm not going to sit here and you know he's thrown 65 meters, right? Like, yeah. So. Mm. Boo hoo! Yeah, you know, it's you have a different technical model. It doesn't mean you're a bad human being. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason was a 138 foot high school discus star. Dude, that's so great! I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. That's an amazing star. Yeah. <laughs> um, Eric, you might that, with, with that w explain your 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 philosophy on the left side, and um, I like like to me. I mean, just hearing that that sort of pisses me off even further that he was a 138 foot discus thrower in high school. And now he's a 65 meter discus thrower. And I don't even want to get into why that makes me bad, but um, <laughs> tell, tell me, tell, tell me this later on <laughs> <laughs> after our nationals after party, we'll talk about it. Yeah. 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 No, yo, we're definitely <laughs> having a party. Yeah, have, we have to have that again. Have have a, that'll have have to be banger all over again. <laughs> Go into the left arm. Let's not, I don't okay. want to get too much in the bangers. <laughs> so left arm, mine, obviously, mine is a – I look at the finish. Uh, ours is obviously our, our six-pillar system. We're trying to hit two, two positions, <laughs> two positions, pillar five and six. And so pillar five is where the arm lengthens, right, to kind of, kind of, kind of similar to what you're talking about. And then, so as you lengthen out, that's what's going to create the action to whip into it. So I do use the term block, and I do think, obviously, you want to, you have to have a, a stopping action, right, at a certain point, because that's the transfer of momentum. Um, so that's, that's how we're looking at it. But it's, yeah, it's, we, we go, five is where everything's lengthening, and then shortening right through six, which is, actually trying to consciously deliver the discus so yeah. we're setting up that action we're setting up the whip right or kind of like you were saying your trebuchet right you, you yeah. want to create that this motion not 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 necessarily mm -hmm. here but that you know and yeah. create that whip reaction and that's what we're so probably I'm similar just a different way of communicating it and i consciously want to see there's a point where kids you know they do the, the shoulders doing too much of this mm -hmm. versus the shoulder moving and everything moving like this. And I think that's where, especially with young throwers, we get, we have some kids right now where the, the shoulder path is short from yeah. coming out of the middle all the way around. So they never can, they don't have a forward motion on the delivery. They're always pulling back from the delivery. So that's where we're coming out long through and forward. And that's how we break it down from like coming out of the middle pillar four, five, six. And obviously that's going to be for us predicated on what do we set up right. in one, two, three. So. so when you talk about the, so 
you do use you do like to see the the le- the movement of the left side stop, mm-hmm. correct? And yeah. Now, when that happens, is that is it stopping? Like, is it still rotating around an axis, or or kind of stopping like linearly or rotationally? I guess would be the question. Yeah, that, that, that's a good question. I think uh, you you create you create an axis, the left side creates an axis mm-hmm. and that axis is going to have to be obviously, you know, planted or firm so that the right side can now rotate around the left axis. Right. So it's almost like the third axis in the throw, yeah. right? So, so that's where you'd say that, that because the left side is forming that axis, axis it yeah. is stopping, mm-hmm. but in theory, it's still kind of the, at least around that axis, it's still sort of rotating would you so say what that we say is the right side rotates around the left side at that okay. point so the right side is is rotating out of the middle there's a point where the left side then becomes the final axis where the where everything is now rotating around the left axis through the finish that's our pillar you know five six really <laughs> we make yeah. a really dis- we, i break up the power position into the two pillars because I want specific things to lead to that pillar six finish, right? So that's. I think I think pillar five will be still rotating off of the right axis, and then going to pillar six is yeah. coming around the left. Yeah. So pillar five, right? He like Jason just said, he's coming out of he's coming out of the middle, mm-hmm. right? Obviously, the no support. We're coming in. We touch down. That's where we start the beginning of our pillar five. As the left comes down into the ground, right? Block foot touches down in, in anchors then we're going to be you continue in the right side then it becomes linear with the right side that's that full motion that's rotating it around the left side to create the whipping action of the shoulder and the arm mm-hmm. 